Hi there Cancer, this is going to be your intuitive love reading for June 2020. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards for your energy, how you might be feeling about your partner or love interest or love and relating in general and then we'll do the same for your person. So I'm just going to shuffle cards here and we wait till the first one drops and that's an indication to stop and choose the cards. So when it either drops or flips, that's my, my sign. If they fall out in big clumps, then we put them back in because that is usually just the energy of the cards. Almost. So Cancer, Love, June 2020. There we go. The three popped out. There we go. All in one go. Interesting. Okay, we have got the Queen of Pentacles. We have got the Four of Cups and we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, interesting energy here. I mean, yes, obviously we have the Nine of Swords here, which can be some kind of stress, some kind of anxiety relating to, you know, love or your person. Um, with that Four of Cups here, you know, the Four of Cups can mean a certain amount of things, but it almost looks like you have decided to pull your energy away from a person, a relationship, a situation, and kind of retract your energy. There's a sense of kind of maybe feeling a little bit apathetic, a little bit over it, maybe even a little bit bored, and you've sort of turned your energy away from the emotional offers or advances. So this could indicate that there's been somebody that has been trying to um, pursue you or come into your life and you know you are turning down those offers but there's some kind of stress uh, from that so maybe this person has been quite persistent for you. For those that are currently partnered it can indicate um, that you have just um, decided that potentially this is not for you, it's not an alignment and you have turned your um, energy away from it. You know, with the Four of Cups, it also shows the Three Cups on their own down the front here. And Three in Tarot is normally the um, the sign of creation or manifestation. So I'm really feeling like you are desiring to um, create or manifest a uh, you know a love or a relationship that is going to give you more than four cups that is going to lead you to you know the nine and ten of cups the wish fulfillment the best life realities there's something in this case that is a little bit stressful for you and i feel it's because you know you've got this feeling like um, even though we've had a certain amount of success in this or, or, or you see certain qualities in this person that's coming in there's that feeling of this is not it this is not it there's still my person out there there's still my person out there and the Queen of Pentacles you know this is the indicator that you know you are really wanting to refocus your energies um, I really think that you are waiting for a more stable offer something more tangible something you can really nurture and grow that kind of love you know you're looking for security Security, um, abundance um, you know this is your energy as well but it's really showing up as wanting a situation where it's very even and balanced you're wanting to be in a situation where you know there is an even balance between um, you know going out and earning the money nurturing in the home that kind of thing now the Queen of Pentacles also links to the devil energy because she's the card of Capricorn so there is this kind of sense of now wanting to move on from any like toxic situations in terms in terms of love and romance that could be why we have the nine of swords here some of you may have had a, a, a past partner or a sensing that in the person that is trying to come in and I think you're really saying you know what I don't want any more toxic relationships no more codependency um, no more people that have got you know the baggage the addictions um, whatever it may be the manipulators all that sort of thing you know you are wanting a pure love a pure committed tangible love a solid offer that you can really um, you know grow develop and, and move forward into a really stable commitment so we're going to pull the cards for either your person that you're with now or somebody who might be coming in for you so cards for cancer's person for june 2020 there we go oh the death card interesting let's see what else we've got page of pentacles there's the offer 
and the Emperor. Wow, some pretty powerful energies here. So the person that you're dealing with could definitely be a Scorpio or an Aries. That's what the energy is showing up as in this reading. Now we've got the energy of Death, Page of Pentacles and Emperor. So interesting, you know, the death card here, it's quite possible that, you know, the person that um, may be trying to come in for you, you know, is going through some kind of transformation or is ending a previous situation. Now, um, you know, with the page of pentacles here, it looks like this person is wanting to make you a solid offer, you know, whether that's the person that you are turning down that offer. I mean, we've got these cards underneath each other. So I kind of feel that, you know, this person is really um, seeing you as a, as a future potential um, to either um, create something solid with, or the person that you're with now might be wanting a deeper commitment with you, wanting to move things to, um, you know, being fiancés or um, marriage or that sort of thing. But I do sense here that you're turning down that offer uh, and for some reason. So it could be that maybe they still had loose ends to tie up in a previous situation. Maybe you waited around. Maybe you waited around and you know you were focused on it and, and all that sort of thing. And maybe this offer is coming in too late for you. I feel like you've moved on, you've backed away from it. You know, the emperor here, we've got this person also showing up as maybe quite a um, commanding energy. Somebody who may be either older than you or um, somebody who kind of embodies that authoritarian energy. The Emperor can indicate, uh, you know, a husband energy, a older energy, um, somebody who could be a boss, mentor, CEO, in some kind of position of power, maybe even in the military. Um, that is the energy of the Emperor. And the Emperor is somebody who really wants to call the shots, who really wants to shape his or her world. So. This person could definitely have their sights quite solidly set on you and maybe that is why they are, you know, really sort of coming in with these advances and, um, you know, not, not really um, giving up and that could be why there's a certain amount of stress there for you as well. Um, so I, that is what I'm seeing guys, that's just my interpretation of the cards. I feel that they are trying to, you know, really offer you something. It might be too little too late. You've sort of backed away from it. There is a certain amount of stress there. Um, yeah, that, that is the energy here. I'm trying to think, is there anything else about the Emperor that I want to say? Um, yeah, I really feel that you want to focus in a different direction. You were all in at one stage with that Queen of Pentacles. You know, you were waiting for that, that the offer. You know, you wanted to make it more grounded, more committed. But I just feel that there was this ending, this transformation that just happened too late. You've already moved on, you've turned away from it, and now the offer is coming in, coming in, coming in. But now this person's available and it's causing you a certain amount of strength. And they're definitely not gonna back down with that Emperor energy. The Emperor is somebody who, you know, really um, is calculated and really strategic. So I feel like this person might try and win you over for a while yet um, and you will need to decide Cancer whether that is for you or not. Okay Cancer, that is your June love reading. It's a short and sweet little reading for you. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd like to know if these resonate uh, for anybody and just keep in mind you know they won't be everybody's reading every time. I'm reading for a collective here and I'll see you back in uh, July for another love reading.